Hello all viewers! This video is going to be different from the last few videos that I uploaded. Currently I still have a lot of things on my schedule, but I'm working to clear it away. This video will be me predicting a possible G rank or Master rank expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. I have a lot to say and some arguments to make, so I have a lot on my chest. I'll do my best to keep this video condensed as well as I can. I cannot begin to express just how happy I am to be able to make a video like this because I've struggled with a lot of things in the past, and I'm now starting to figure everything out. Also, I have a cool portrait now. Yeah, I'm still working to clean everything up, but this is just the early stages of my career still. Portraits that you will see are drawn by myself, music is by Capcom Sound Team, and pictures that are in this video are from the fandom wiki page. But without further ado, let's go. Near the end of 2019, I've enjoyed playing the Monster Hunter games ever since I played World for legitimately 12 hours in one sitting. And even though I've only played the newer games, the most recent game, Rise, certainly has a lot to offer. But there's possibly more room to move forward. This video is going to be a brief talk about any new or returning locales, then the main focus for this video, talking about any predictions or suggestions for returning monsters. I'll also talk about the three monsters that I want to see come back the most, as I have good arguments as to why I want to see them come back. Fair warning though, there will be a decent amount of controversy and why are you suggesting this? Also there will be spoilers, so be prepared for that. Through the monster list I'll be going from generation to generation in chronological order, but first I want to go over possible locales to come back. Currently we have Shrine Ruins, Frost Islands, Flooded Forest, Sandy Plains, and Lava Caverns. So we just have about the whole spectrum of elements those being earth, fire, ice, and water. Yes, I know there's a thunder element in the game, but it would be tricky to make an environment entirely around the electric element. But maybe that could be the goal for the expansion. Also, I would recommend a new locale similar to Iceborne's Guiding Lands, which is every biome wrapped into one. Other returning locales that I'll be happy to see include the Deserted Island, Misty Peaks, Coral Highlands, Rotten Vale, Wildspire Waste, Jurassic Frontier, and Elder's Recess. I know not all of these will be included, but some of these are at least feasible. Now, time to get into the monsters. Starting off with the first generation, I only have two suggestions for returning monsters. Starting off, we have Yan Kukku, which just ends up being a classic monster that would give longtime players either a great burst of nostalgia after a lot of downtime, or maybe a little bit of annoyance. But all that annoyance would be outmatched by my suggestion for Gravios. My reason as to why I'm suggesting Gravios is because Bessarios is in the game and it is fully canonical that Basarios is a juvenile Gravios. Many people may not like Gravios, but I personally can't say anything as I haven't fought him yet. But Gravios would be appropriate to be in the game alongside Basarios. Moving on to the second generation, I have two more suggestions. First up, we have Boldrum. I get it. You all don't care for Boldrum, and neither do I. But Volfangos are already in the game, and it doesn't feel super appropriate with not having the large monster equivalent of the small monster, so it would just easily fill a gap in the riser that rise left. But the real controversy will be left by my suggestion for Young Garuga. I know a good portion of people who do hate Young Garuga, but the way he was made for Ice form was a huge step in the right direction. And I feel like Rise can easily patch up any holes that other people may have. If he was given more of a chance one more time, I feel like people would have a little bit of a shift of opinion. Well, I hope the third generation has a little bit less controversy, but what it does have is a lot more cool monsters I would like to see again. Starting off, we have Great Jaggy. This guy was one of the first monsters related to Dromes, which went by a great name, instead of a drone name. He entered the scene alongside Baggy and Roggy, and surprisingly didn't make the final cut to Rise despite Baggy and Roggy making it, and Standard Jaggy as well. And I won't accept the answer of Great Azuchi is replacing Great Jaggy. That's just not gonna happen. Another thing that stands out in the third generation was the introduction to Leviathans. Three of the six Leviathans that I really enjoyed came about around this time, but only one of those three, Royal Ludroth, made it into the final game. I'd be interested in seeing Ignactor return, as I would love to see him in HD after the tragedy and world that was Alasia. So seeing him in a new game after we have four Leviathans already in the game would be nice for a lot of people, or at least I think so. But arguably the most famous and iconic Leviathan happens to be Ligiacris. Having him in a game like Rise would make an already great monster even greater. And it would be a setup to a great potential turf war with another monster, which I'll allude to near the end. 
Then we have a unique monster with the call of all wildlife, that being Kura Pekka. I would really be interested in this case because he has the ability to call another monster, even large monsters, and even some big boys like Rathalos, Zenogre, or another suggestion, Devil Joe. This is the only entry I may regret myself as I actually really hate Devil Joe, as it always shows up at the worst possible time, and it seriously disrupts the quest. But if Basil Geese and Rajanga and Rise, then Devil Joe's a little left out. Next up we have Doramaros. I personally know very little about what the community thinks of this guy, but I do know one person in the world that loves Durabaros for who he is in general. I'm looking at you, Cotton. Anyway, the last suggestion I have for the third generation is Brachydeus, a pioneer monster like Double Joe and Zenogre, who is the introduction to what is now known as the Blast Elder. And I know there's a huge portion of the community who loves this monster, and I'm one of those people as well. Maybe something to consider for the future. Now the 4th generation is the first generation that I really got into chronologically, even though my first game was World. And I have a lot to say about this generation too, as the list of suggestions I have is quite long. First up, we have Great Macau. This guy was a completely new great monster, and I actually really like him. We also have two amphibians that came around at this time, those being Tetsukabra and Zamtros. I personally didn't like Tetranidon, so I would like a better amphibian. Also, Guildmaster Hojo literally rides on the back of a baby Tetsukabra, and Zamites already exist in this game, so it would make sense for them to be here too. Then we have Naturala, probably one of the most underrated and or forgotten monsters in the series that really needs to return one day. Also, what about Seregios? I'm sure a lot of people really like him, and I would love to see him come back. And he could function as almost an invader maybe? I don't know. We also have Ketchawacha, one of the first fang beasts I actually really liked and would be very funny to have in this game. But now we move on to the Fated Four. These monsters have been stalemates in generations and currently only two of them have made it into 5th generation games. However, only Mizusune made it into Rise, so seeing the others, those being Glavinus, Gameth, and Astalos, would be a wonderful thing to me and maybe a lot of others. Lastly for this generation, we have Gormagala. This guy legit scared me to my bones when I fought him for the first time. And I feel he could be on a similar level to Magamala with his role in this game. Maybe not, though. Lastly, we have the 5th generation, with the monsters in World and Iceborne. Starting off, we have Great Jaggers and Great Gyros. Mainly Great Jaggers, as standard Jaggers already exist in this game, and Gyros would be good to have alongside him. Then we have Tizutsu Yaku, which is Gypsero's Flash concept done right, and thankfully doesn't have any poison, and a good counterpart to Kulu. We also have Dodogama, who a lot of people love for his derpiness, and I guess I do too. Now moving away from the lower tier large monsters, we have Paulumu. One monster who had an okay reputation, but I would like to give him a second chance in Rise. Same deal with Radovan, who I didn't like at first, because he wouldn't freaking sit still long enough for me to get a clean hit, but I've gotten better at fighting him. Then we have Legiana, who is another super underrated monster, and Odogaron, who would also set up a future turf war. And to be honest, I really miss these two monsters. Lastly, we have Beatumis, the current best Piscean Wyvern, and Bombaro, a weird nomad without a care in the world. The fifth generation rarely fails to impress me. So with that, I would like to list the top three monsters I want to see come back the most. A lot of this will be very personal, but I chose them because they would either fill a gap in the roster or the game as a whole, as I did notice a fair number of those in Rise, or they could just be monsters I desperately want to see again. At number 3, we have Odogron. He's personally my favorite Generation 5 monster, and the reason why I want him back is because of the alarming underabundance of bleeding damage in this game. I actually don't think there's any sort of way to cause bleeding damage in this game at all, so it would easily fill a missing piece that this game has. At number 2, we have Astalos. Asolos certainly is my favorite Faded 4 monster and 4th generation monster, and he would also fill a gap in left and rises the roster. And I would love to see him in HD. And finally, the monster I want to see the absolute most, Brachydeus. I don't know if anyone knows this, but the Blast Element probably has it the worst in Rise. There's only one monster that focuses on Blast, that being Teostra, who absolutely sucks in Rise. And the only other monsters with some minor use of it are Somnicanth, Magnamalo, and Apex Mizutsune. And to top it off, the weapons aren't the best. I wouldn't wish anyone to go after Teostra, 
and all Magnum Molo weapons require a gem, which is very hard to get. But we all know just how much we love Bracky's weapons, and to see them in this game with his super powerful blast weapons will put a smile on just about anyone's face. Especially during the Rampage when you had the status ailment subquest, which always ends up being surprisingly difficult to do in time. I guarantee you about 99% of the community would rejoice after seeing him in this game. We really need Bracky back. And with all of that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed the first part of this three-part series. The next part will be me discussing returning Elder Dragons and subspecies because good lord we need it. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, you can check out my last video or subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions or something to say, be sure to do it nicely in the comments below. And with all of that said and done, enjoy these short clips of battles that I recorded for this video. Be safe out there, and goodbye.